Hi everyone! Not knowing or understanding a word in a sentence in Portuguese can be frustrating, but it can be even harder when people start saying a list of letters that you have no idea what they refer to. Today, I will be teaching you some common Portuguese acronyms and initialisms so you can finally start understanding their meaning in writing and in day-to-day -day conversations. If you are learning Portuguese, don't forget to subscribe so you can support my channel. E agora, vamos começar! An initialism is an abbreviation consisting of initial letters pronounced separately, like FBI, FBI in Portuguese. Acronyms are read as a word because they are formed by a sequence of vowels and consonants that allows it to be read, like the word AIDS, SIDA in Portuguese. This means that to write and understand initialisms, you need to know very well your ABCs in Portuguese. I have a whole video dedicated to the alphabet, so if you need deeper revision, make sure to check it out. Acronyms and initialisms, like any Portuguese noun, have a gender. The designated gender of any of these words corresponds to the gender of the first word forming the full name it stands for, or the gender of the implied name it designates. But note that these words have no plural. Let's start with the topic of the moment. Ser set. This one I'm sure you know. This is the nickname used to refer to Cristiano Ronaldo. It's not exactly an abbreviation, but works like one. Public institutions are usually known by their initials. GNR. This one refers to Guarda Nacional Republicana. The GNR is a security force of a military nature in Portugal, and it is in charge of the land and maritime territory. PSP, Polícia de Segurança Pública. This is another Portuguese police force. It's not military, but also has the mission to guarantee internal security and the defense of citizens' rights. PJ, Polícia Judiciária. This police force is in charge of prevention, detection, and civil criminal investigation. CEF, Serviço de Estrangeiros e Fronteiras. I'm sure you know this one if you're applying for Portuguese residency or citizenship. We read this as a word because of the vowel placed between two consonants. SNS, this is the Public Health Service. DGS, Direção Geral de Saúde. DGS was always on the news during the pandemic, since this entity is the health authority of the Portuguese government. Now let's cover some Portuguese companies. Many also have their names abbreviated. Some are certainly easy to recognize, like TAP, the name of the Portuguese airline. TAP stands for Transportes Aéreos Portugueses. Since it refers to a company, the gender of this word is feminine, a TAP. Galp is one of the largest gas and oil companies operating in the country. Another one very well known is EDP, one of the largest electricity suppliers. It stands for Eletricidade de Portugal. A very useful one to know is CTT. It refers to the Portuguese post services, based on the outdated designation Correios, Telegrafos e Telefones. Many people nowadays just call it Correios. RTP, Rádio Televisão Portuguesa, is our public national TV station. TVI, Televisão Independente, and SIC, Sociedade Independente de Comunicação, are two private channels. Speaking of news services, we can also mention the main Portuguese newspapers. 
JN, Jornal de Notícias, DN, Diário de Notícias e CM, Correio da Manhã. If you like to watch the news in Portugal, you might come across these. PSD, PS. Any guess what they mean? They are political parties. PSD stands for Partido Social Democrata. PS, Partido Socialista. PCP, Partido Comunista Português. CDSPP, Centro Democrático Cristão, Partido Popular. BE, you might see in writing, but verbally we tend to say Bloco de Esquerda. A more recent party is PAN, Pessoas, Animais e Natureza. Now let's cover some very useful ones that you need to know. IRS stands for Imposto de Rendimentos de Pessoas Singulares. This is not the equivalent to the American IRS which we usually call finanças, even though the official name is Autoridade Tributária. IRS in Portuguese is Personal Income Tax. NIF, Número de Identidade Fiscal. I'm sure most of you know what this one is. It's a fiscal number that we need in Portugal on top of our Social Security one. If you want to open a bank account in Portugal, you will need one. INEM, Instituto Nacional de Emergência Médica. You will see ambulances with this one. These are doctors, first responders. If you have looked at places to rent or buy in Portugal, I'm sure you have heard T0, T1, T2, and so on. That T stands for Tipologia, type of house. T0 is a studio, T1, a one bedroom, T2, a two bedroom. How about CC? Basically means ID, Cartão Cidadão, which is an ID that combines different numbers, health, social security and more. I hope you found this video helpful. Leave me a like and a comment below. I always love to hear from you guys. Até a próxima!